Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Tyler. Together we make up coffee, a couple that loves to play board games. And we love coffee. We coffee. do. Coffee. 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 <laughs> we love coffee. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Lattes, macchiatos, espressos, cappuccinos. I like how you went with, you went right to macchiatos. Well, I feel latte go, I guess. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about a coffee game, and that is... Coffee Rush! Coffee Rush is published by Korea Board Games. It's designed by Hyu Jin Han, and the art is done by Si Won Huang. Now in this game, you'll be fulfilling orders of a nice delightful cup of whatever drink it may be. Mm -hmm. You'll try to get the most reputation, and make sure the orders are on time, because timing is very important. It's a rush. It is a rush. Indeed. With that quick overview out of the way, let's take a look at how the game works. As always, you'll begin by setting up. You'll prepare the ingredients in the ingredient board, and then each player's shop. You'll receive your first orders, and you're now ready to play. In this game, your goal is to garner the best reputation by fulfilling orders in a timely manner. On your turn, you'll move your meeple one to three spaces and gather ingredients on the way. You'll then pour the ingredients into your cups. Choosing the right distribution based on your recipes. As once placed, the only way to remove ingredients is to empty the cup. Now once your ingredients match an order, you can complete it. You'll return the ingredients to supply and place the order card on your left. You'll receive a rush token if you complete a specialty item, which you can exchange to move an extra space for an extra ingredient during your following turns. Now the fun part. You'll see how many orders you completed this turn, the two players to the left of you will receive order cards equal to the amount of orders you completed this turn in their queue. To end your turn, time will flow, shifting orders down on your board. If any come off the board, they'll become penalties for your reputation. And that's a turn. You'll keep playing, fulfilling orders, and creating pressure for your opponents, all rushing to finish these orders to score the most reputation. Last but not least, at the beginning of your turn, you can activate upgrades. You'll trade three completed order cards and activate an upgrade of your choice. You'll have four to choose from, and they'll give you two reputation and abilities like an option to move diagonally or collecting double ingredients in certain circumstances. Now, the game ends either when the order cards run out or if one player acquires five penalties. You'll score reputation for your completed orders and activated upgrades, lose points for any penalties you have, Tally the score, and the player with the best reputation wins. How many orders will you fulfill? Best barista out there. So what do you think of Coffee Rush? I loved it. I think I was really pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And I think we've had it on our shelf and we've been wanting to get to the table forever. And we heard a lot of recommendations from different people of like, you really should play this game. Yes. And we did. And I feel like now we're those people that are just like, you really should play this game. Yes. Yeah. For coffee lovers out there, like cafe owners even, I think that this game fits like really well into that space and really mm -hmm. gives you that idea of like, it can get pretty rushed at some times. It sneaks up on you, that's mm -hmm. for sure. And I think that's what I really appreciate about the game. But you also have to be like willing to lose out on some of the things, which is quite unfortunate and obviously leaves a sour taste in your customers, making you lose ratings. Sour taste, yeah, like a sour coffee. Mm -hmm. But with that said, let's jump into our review. We'll cover a variety of factors in the game, tell your thoughts, and hopefully help you decide if this is a game that is for you or maybe not for you this time around. Hmm. Okay, let's start with the tight resource management in this game. This is a very interesting uh, like resource management type game because first of all, you only have three cups and those cups are definitely, like I said, is it catches up on you. It feels like you can fill the orders that you have, but all of a sudden you have six, seven, eight orders and only three cups. You can like choose to dump stuff out, uh, but then you're gonna have to start another cup. So the resource management is like very interesting because you don't wanna be too wasteful. You wanna plan through your uh, moves and then you also wanna grab the right resources so you can fulfill the orders that are hopefully the the lowest, mm -hmm. the lowest in the priority. No, highest in the priority, but lowest on your tableau. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it becomes really tricky because I think in the beginning it's all smooth sailing. Like, I'll go get this, I'll need this. 
and then all of a sudden you're running and this ingredient's a little far out of reach, but if you don't get it this turn, your order is gonna go down and it all just kind of begins to fall apart. Yes. But I think the dynamic of watching all that happen to everybody at the table is really fun as well mm -hmm. because it become it goes from very chill to chaotic pretty quickly. Yeah, and like when you finish, when, when somebody finishes orders, then they like cascade, there's that cascade effect that happens, and then the people that would go next are now even more stressed out than before. Mm -hmm. And the unfortunate thing, well, fun thing, is if you time it right, you can actually have somebody with four, um, four like recipes or orders mm -hmm. that are very difficult to um, complete. Mm -hmm. And again, you only have three cups. Mm -hmm. Even more, because if both players can complete three and three, oh yeah, in the same line, you can yeah. have yeah, yeah it, it can be it's... quite hectic. Yeah, I think another thing I'll talk about with the resource management is the choice that you make with upgrading tiles, mm -hmm. because once you have three orders completed, you can upgrade a tile, and now it's a tough decision because you'll lose out on a point if you yeah. upgrade a yeah, tile. Yeah, you're basically gambling victory points at that point. But you do get an ability, and most of those abilities are getting double the resources in a certain circumstance, mm -hmm. or moving diagonally, which is really helpful. Yes. So it's hard to make that decision and when to make that decision, or especially when the game ends nearby, could you take advantage of it? That's yeah. a really cool decision point I found in this game. Yeah, yeah, because if you can give up three cards, use the ability to like finish your last turn, um, and get even more points out of that, then it's actually quite quite beneficial. Mm -hmm. Maybe like, a, well, plus one, I guess, at least. But regardless, the one thing to shift away from this resource thing, the one thing I'll say is that I thought was really cool is it reminded me of one of those like video games where you would be rushed for orders mm -hmm. and you'd be like, almost like overcooked, but competitive. Mm -hmm. But it felt like you were just like always trying to finish something, make sure that the customers are happy and like deliver them their plates, mm -hmm. uh, send them out the door and then like thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, good rating. So it was very, <laughs> very, uh, it's cool to see that implementation mm -hmm. into a board game. And it felt really good. It felt really true to the theme. You felt rushed majority of the time. You're mm -hmm. grabbing those ingredients. I think the production quality in this game too with having those little cups yes. and having the variety of textures for the resources, it felt really good too. It's something that absolutely did not need to happen. Like you could have just had little boards yes. instead. But I, I like the 3D aspect of it. It adds a little bit more to like the tactile feel of playing a board game. Yeah, and it's like a level up in the quality of the game. So mm -hmm. it's a really nice to see the issue though like with part of this is it being a rushed game is you do really start to feel it mm -hmm. so maybe forewarning for when you do give this game a try if that is not something you're interested in i would maybe avoid it or come in with an open mind and expect that feeling at the end yeah this is not like a zen coffee shop mm -hmm. this is a you're a running <laughs> yeah 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 and then you're always like looking at this central board trying to plan like where you need to go next mm -hmm. so it's like pretty like you're always thinking i didn't feel like there was a whole lot of downtime no. even when you were playing at max player count which was four yeah the player interaction felt really good too because of the cascading orders you're always mm -hmm. paying attention now another element of this game too is the scores are very low yeah because from the upgrades you only really get if you max to upgrade everything you get that's eight points and mm -hmm. it's dependent on the order you get but I think when we played a max player count, I think we've scored anywhere from like two, three points to like maybe eight. Yeah, eight to ten maybe. So uh, yeah. with more players, I feel like you probably score less because you kind of yeah. you go through more cards because the same amount of cards collectively. But maybe that's a little reminiscent of the rating. It's like ten yeah. out of ten stars yeah. or like four out of ten. But I feel like I expected coming in and being like, oh, I'm going to score 20. And then, yes. no. Yeah. Also, for the experience that it puts you through, getting those like lower scores <laughs> did kind of feel a little like not satisfying almost. Yeah. Like I wanted a high score, but the high scores are like Ilya said, we were getting like eight to 10 or something like that. And it, it, it obviously is the winning score, but it just, you know, there's something about high number scoring that feels good. That's true. I got three last time and it felt pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing we'll mention is the resource collection itself in the central board. Mm -hmm. I found it really interesting because it's a spatial resource collection game. And 
It's interesting because you can at times block players from landing on the same piece, but you can still walk through other players. Yep. There's ways to get double resources of various upgrades. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like a puzzle, which I didn't think it would be right off the bat. I thought it'd be pretty intuitive, but even having only one of like the deluxe resources yeah. on the map yeah. and trying to figure out, oh no, I'm in the corner way away from it. How am I going to get there? Yeah. 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 And the fact that you're like, I think they're like, Depending on the resources that you need, you can actually plan a couple of turns ahead, hoping, that, or at least two turns, like hoping that you won't get blocked by another person. Mm -hmm. And then because you're only allowed to move up to three spaces, unless you have the rush tokens, mm -hmm. it can actually end up being um, messed up on your way. So I guess maybe, maybe as much as you want to think ahead, sometimes it doesn't go your way. Mm -hmm. So don't always rely on that. Mm -hmm. um, or aim to get some of those specialty items so that you can fulfill uh, those and get those rush tokens. Rush tokens. It does feel very dynamic though because of the different players moving and I think that almost ties back to the team again because we all feel like we're in a kitchen yep. and yeah. we're just trying to get stuff done. Yeah. We've been watching The Bear recently mm -hmm. and it just, I feel like that's all I can think about right now yes. is us just rushing, trying to get station to station, making sure people have their yummy drinks. Exactly, yeah. So overall, what do we think of Coffee Rush? Huge fan. I do think this is a game that's going to enter our rotation. We're going to play more of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really fun to play. Uh, there's also a two-player variant as well, yeah. which accommodates the two players, which is really nice because orders kind of come in and fluctuate. You're through. always getting them, basically. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> um, so I like it. It's very mindful. It's very thoughtful. And there's an expansion coming. Oh, yeah. I've totally forgotten about I think about it's that. about cakes or something yeah. like that. So yeah, I'm desserts. really excited yeah. to add that to the mix to increase my blood pressure and the tension I feel when I play this game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, what I'll say is this game has been really fun to play. I think it's very, very approachable and it's really easy to teach. It is smooth to get into and then of course like the rush starts to happen a, like I want to say a quarter way through the game you start to feel the intensity. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciated like the, um, the ease into that. So that was pretty nice. And yeah, it's been quite some, quite, quite fun. Now for our question of the day, How do you what is your coffee? No, what is your favorite hot drink? Because not oh. everybody likes coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Somebody people like tea. Oh. Or maybe it's just hot water. You're right. You're right. What is your favorite hot beverage? Hot, hot beverage. And it can't be fizzy. Can't be fizzy. A hot fizzy beverage? Does that exist? What if we run boiled water through a soda stream? What do you think would happen? Um, well, the canister that we put the hot water in would have a problem because it's this the plat. Well, it doesn't have to be okay. boiling. It can be just hot. hot, hot. I, I wouldn't enjoy that, I don't think. I feel like that'd be good for when you're sick. It feels like it's like left out in the sun. <laughs> Anyways. That is our question of the day. And if you enjoyed this video, give us that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We make weekly board game content like this and we love talking about board games. And we've recently been making a lot of short form content here on our YouTube, Instagram, TikTok as well. So feel free to check some of those out too. Mm -hmm. Until next time though, we will see you later. Bye.